Hello and welcome back. This is Brother Mitch. Today we're talking about walking and living in the supernatural. If you have your Bibles today, turn with me to Acts chapter 3 and let's begin. Welcome to Mitch Carmack Podcast. Learn to walk in health, protection, and divine favor. Learn lessons to increase your faith. Now let's welcome our Bible teacher and host, Brother Mitch. We are glad you joined us for today's episode. At the end of the podcast, find out how you can send us your prayer request and any comments. We will also provide you with information on how to contact us. Now let's begin today's Bible lesson. I want to begin today's podcast by just thanking everybody for listening. Uh, All our friends that are up in Michigan and those of you out in California and Texas, Maryland, we really appreciate you listening on a continuous basis. We have many listeners in Ohio, Uh, just all over the United States, even Australia. (laughs) So we appreciate you guys listening. We love you guys. And uh, we're just so grateful for what the Lord's doing in and through us. Well, now is the time to be walking in the Spirit. And I want to talk to you today about living and walking in the supernatural. You know, Jesus told us in John chapter 14, verse 12, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he will also do. And greater works will he do, because I go unto my Father. Folks, we are the very representation of Christ himself on this earth. Therefore, we should be doing the very works that Jesus did when he was here. And before he left this earth, he promised that he would send us a comforter, We know that he equipped us with the Holy Spirit. And there's many men and women throughout the scripture that walked a supernatural lifestyle. We're talking supernatural, doing the very works that Jesus did. If you have your Bibles today, look in Acts chapter 3. I want to look at verses 1 through 10. And I'm going to give you a couple examples today of people that actually walked and lived in the supernatural. One of those people were Peter. In Acts chapter 3, we read in verse 1, Peter and John went up together into the temple of the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. They were asking money, basically. Verse 3, who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us. Peter approached this man. The first thing he said is, look at me. Look at us. And he gave heed to him, expecting to receive something from him. The moment that Peter spoke up, this gentleman expected them to give him some money. But I like what Peter said in verse 6. Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise and walk. What powerful words these were. What a boldness Peter had. That's walking and living in the supernatural. And verse 7 says that Peter took him by the right hand and he lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength and he began leaping and stood up and walked and entered with them into the temple walking and leaping and praising God and all the people saw him walking and praising God. Folks, that's exactly the kind of Christians we need today. Some Christians with some backbone that are willing to step out by faith and walk up to people and just say, in Jesus' name, arise and walk, be healed in Jesus' name. Peter and John came across this crippled man. The man asked him for a a gift, and the scriptures tell us that Peter gazed intently upon him and said, look at us. And in the name of Jesus Christ, Peter told him to rise and walk. And you know, when we walk in the supernatural, we will begin to speak the word of God with boldness and with power. You know, on one occasion, we see Peter 
at one time, he was so full of the anointing and the Holy Spirit that when he passed six, uh, sick people, his mere shadow healed him. Could you imagine that? In Acts 5, verse 15, the Bible says, In so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets, they laid them on beds and couches. And at the least, the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. And verse 16 says that every one of them was healed. Could you imagine your very reflection healing the sick? Folks, that's walking in the supernatural. Also, walking in the supernatural will also change your complete appearance, the way that you look. If you remember, remember when Moses came down from the mountain with God after he took the Ten Commandments. The Bible says in Exodus that they couldn't even look at him. The Bible says that Stephen was the very same way. He was full of faith and power, and he did great wonders and miracles among the people. Stephen in Acts chapter 6 verse 8 was arrested and they took him before this council to be judged. And the Bible tells us in verse 15 of Acts 6, And all that sat on the council looked steadfastly on him, saw his face as if it had been the face of an angel. Stephen was living in the supernatural. Have you ever looked at Christian people? Maybe somebody just stood out to you and their appearance even looks different. And you think to yourself, I don't know what it is about this person, but they are different. They've got the spirit of God upon them. I will never forget when I met my wife, Stephanie, at church. We met at church here in Georgetown over 20 years ago. And I was brand new to the church at the time. And she was standing up in front of the church singing uh, with the worship team. And I tell you what, there was such a glow about this woman. I mean, I was attracted to her physically. I thought she was pretty. But there was a spiritual side that I saw to her. She had a glow about her. And people that walk and live in the supernatural, they're like that. They're like Moses when he came down from the mountain. Now, you may be asking me today, you say, Brother Mitch, how can we walk and live like that? Well, here's the thing. We have to be willing to walk and to be led by the Spirit of God. And I'll, I think Paul said it very well in Galatians chapter 5, verse 25. He said, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. So our life has to be completely controlled by God and his spirit. And we have to walk in love. That's a must. Our lives have to express all of the fruits of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering. All of them that we see in Galatians chapter six, verse 22 and 23. And we have to live holy before God and we have to be set apart. So, as you can see, folks, this is not something simple. Very few people walk in the supernatural. But oh, that God might raise up some men and some women today who will humble themselves before God and say, Lord, not my will be done, but I want to do your will. I just wonder today, those of you that are listening, will you be the next Peter? Will you be the next Stephen? Will you be the next Moses? Let's pray. Father, I pray today that you would teach us to be led by your spirit. Father, I pray that you would help us to love other people and express your love through the fruits of the spirit. And Lord, forgive us for all of our sins today and fill us with your Holy Spirit and Father, help us to be holy today as you are holy. Lord, today we completely surrender our lives to your service. In Jesus' name, amen. We hope you enjoyed today's program. Please take time to subscribe to our show. Share our podcast and social media at our Facebook post and YouTube channel at our website. Website is mitchcarmack.podbean.com. Send any questions or prayer requests to our email address. 
That is mitchcarmack at yahoo.com. All right, until next time, remember that God keeps his promises and all his promises are true.